things we're going to talk about today is the uh, introduction to the machine selection. A lot of times, you know, people don't really think that that's very important when you start talking about that, but having the right ice machine for the right application is actually very important. A lot of times people end up buying the wrong machine and putting it in the wrong application, and they blame the machine for those problems, when it's really not the machine. Machine location and machine type, that is also very important when you start looking at your application that's out there. How much room do you have? Are you in a bar type application where you need a little under counter machine that's going to fit in the front of the house where the servers can use it up there or the bar can use it up there? Or are you actually going to have it in the back of the, the location where the guys are going to be transporting the ice from the back to the front? But every single one of those customers has a different ice need. So when we look into them, you know, is it a big store, a little store, is it a busy store? So all that's going to play into how much footprint they have and you know how big of a machine we can actually provide to them. When you're looking at your location, you know, let's look at this customer's needs, you know, real fast. These machines that they have on top of there are 1,500 pounds per 24-hour machines. So you think, wow, that's a lot of ice. You know, when we start looking at that, that's 4,500 pounds of ice production that we're having in 24 hours. That's a lot for that customer's needs. They know that they have these lunch rushes that come in and they have their dinner rush. So at that point in time, what they're doing is they're putting these high capacity machines on top of these dispensers because these are only gonna store about 200 pounds of ice. So that seems very overkill to have a 1,500 pound machine on top of a 200 pound dispenser. But what they're doing is they're using that machine for the recovery ratio, so that way they can pick up their ice production. The full cube itself is ideal for cocktails, has a very large surface area. That surface area, what we're talking about with a large cube, it's going to melt a lot slower than your normal ice cube. Then you get into the flaked ice, and that easily packs around products for even cooling protection. The nugget ice, the um, more beverage profitability, great for flavor and color retention. You know, guys, I like that ice so much, and it's not just because I work for Isomatic. I have one of those style of machines at my house. If you've ever had that type of ice that you're chewing on and it retains a lot of the flavor of the drink and stuff that's in the cup, that is that nugget ice. Machine bins. When you guys are looking at the bins, you also have to, you know, look to your storage needs. You know, how much footprint do you have in the back of a store? Because real estate comes at a premium price. So, you know, does they only have, you know, 30 inches of space or do they have 48 inches of space? What does the customer have for their needs? The best condenser for your business. When we're talking the condenser, we're talking the part that sheds the heat off of the ice machine. When we're looking at this, we have three basic types of condensers that are out there. We have a water-cooled condenser, we have a remote-cooled condenser, and we also have an air-cooled condenser, which is going to be a self-contained model very similar to this where it's going to shed the heat inside the store. Our remote units are going to be similar to that 1500 pound machine or this 900 pound machine that I have up here. Meaning that we have some piping that exits the remote condenser located up on the roof or outside and pipes back down to the machine itself. So remember, when you guys are looking at these ice machines and you're looking at what you need, you need to know what type of ice style you need. You need to understand how much ice you need. You need to understand the available space that you have to store the ice and locate the machine. If you're unsure, call Isomatic or call our distributor. We'll definitely help you guys line you out and be able to answer any questions that you guys have.